What's going on everybody? So today we are doing some work on the BMW. Um, so this car is getting new rear shocks, which we're in the process of taking out right now. New struts, um, fix and do a lot of ordering of parts. Got to get a new tail light. Um, just different little things, new hubcap, different stuff like that. Um, so we got this one getting some work done today. Um, so we are also fixing to go pick up my grandma's Audi Q5. Got to do some maintenance work on it. Um, so yeah, we got a, got a little bit of work in store for us today. So uh, stay tuned. So first things first, we have got to go get some gas. So on the way now to go get some gas in this and then go meet. So while I wait on this thing to cool down a little bit and be able to actually work on this without burning my hands, I have got to go get some parts for the BMW so that we can finish that car up. So yeah, let's get to it. All right, so we got some parts in. Time to head back to the house and slap them in. Well, first things first, before we start doing all the stuff on the BMW, I've got one thing that I ordered for the Ranger that it has needed and mainly just bugged me for I don't know how long now. And that is a new third brake light. I don't know if I could have picked any longer screwdriver, but yeah, it has a new third brake light from them. Looking clean as ever. So don't worry this whole all of this is gonna get changed here very soon but first we're gonna start off with the third brake light so it looks like the previous owner silicone this probably because this gasket is shot anyways so we got a new one unplug, unplug this one Throw that one away. Put this nice fresh one out. Oh yeah. That should look a lot better. So let's get to it. Easy as that. Just snap that clip back in. And maybe... Maybe if I put it in... Am I, am I just dumb? Okay. I think I need to... Oh, no, I think I'm just dumb. Okay, there we go. So there we go. That's gonna look a whole lot better. So, uh, yeah, let's screw this thing in. Yeah, that looks, that looks 10 times better. Oh yeah.
always, always, whenever you're putting new plugs in, it ain't hard, but this stuff will spread. You'll find it behind your ears. Always just put a little bit of anesthesia on it. That way, if you, your brother, your sister, your mom, your dad, the, whoever works on it next, can get these plugs out easy. Because I just fought these, trying to get these out of this, because somebody didn't put anesthesia on them, and they just, they were pretty much stuck. So, just always put some anesthesia on them. I don't know if you can tell or not, but if you look right here, this, right here, this porcelain, that is not supposed to be like that. It's supposed to be a piece of porcelain that goes all the way around. And both of these, number one and two, are both like that. I'm surprised this thing ran as good as it did, being that two of these plugs had broke porcelain on them. Always check out your new parts versus your old parts. Make sure that they look the same. That way you don't get it all pretty much all the way installed and then realize that something is not right. So you wanna make sure everything looks the same and these do. So we're gonna go ahead and put them in. Like that. Let's take for a spin. All right, well, now that we've got everything taken care of, let's take this thing for a spin real quick. All right, so taking the break from the Audi, there's some other things I gotta finish up with. I gotta figure out what's going on with this light right here, and it's still on a check engine light for a fuel pressure regulator. Don't know if I'm gonna get into all that. 
at least in this video. But first, actually my dad finished up the, the BMW, so it's got new shocks in the rear, uh, new brake pad wear sensor in the rear. But as of right now, I'm hungry, so I'm going to get food for the both of us. So, I decided to take the BMW because, you know, I'm, it should ride a lot better being that it's got new shocks in the rear and all that great stuff. But we're also going to take it for a drive just to stretch his legs a little bit because uh, I don't think it's been driven since I got back from out of town, which I got went out of town for my birthday. So, anyways, I don't think it's been driven since we got uh, since I got back out of town. But yeah so we are going to take this for a drive go get some food uh and then we might be hitting the drag strip tonight i'm not sure uh, if i'm gonna have time being that that thing's not done but we're gonna see we're gonna try and hit the drag strip tonight go see some some cool cars <laughs> Yeah, this is this is why you don't try to record while I'm trying to record. Yeah, yeah I know like everybody around me is gonna record, so I'm gonna try. I'm gonna All right, so it is currently Wednesday, October twenty something, and this video is going up a lot later than I expected it to. Um, as I mentioned previously in this video. I went out of town to Jacksonville, Florida for my birthday and actually four o'clock this morning on Wednesday, uh, I just got back from LA. Um, so I didn't have time while I was in either one to edit this video nor get it up in time. So there's like another two week difference between the videos going up, but I'm back, I'm ready to go. I've missed working on my <laughs> the freaking cars. Uh, the only thing I've been able to do is drool over them in LA. So I'm back. We're back. We're gonna get some car content going on the channel. And uh, yeah, sorry if I'm out of it. I'm extremely tired. It's been a long week of modeling stuff with my girlfriend and running around and it's been a long week, but we're back and we're going to get to it. So appreciate y'all watching this video. If you don't mind, like, subscribe, and share it, uh, it'd be greatly appreciated.